Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about some off-road games I found for Java. Keep in mind that these are not all of the off-road games on Java, this is just a list of random off-road games on Java, meaning that these games have off-road in their title. Ok, so the first game is Off-Road Dirt Motocross, which is one of the games I always had installed on any of my Java phones. So, if you have the same tastes as me, I can guarantee you that you will love the game. You get 4 different race types, you can normal race, you can have time trials, stunt challenges and boss duels. Normal races are the most complete, because there you can do everything the game has to offer. You have opponents, which you can kick while driving near them, or you can hit them with a metal pipe, and you can do the same air tricks like in the stunt jump challenges. I like that the game is fast paced and in my case the game gave me an adrenaline boost. The game felt extreme, maybe that's why I used to play it so much back in the day. As for tracks, you get 5 different locations. You don't get different characters and the saddest part about the game is that you don't get bikes. In the entire game there are 2 bikes and the second bike you unlock after you finish the game, but at least the only bike you get can be tuned. You can change the color or add performance upgrades, overall the game is amazing. I have many fond memories of the game and even replaying it now, it still remained as solid as I remember it, so I recommend you to try it. Extreme Forum 4 Off-Road Racing 3D is a game that pushes the hardware limitations of a Java phone to the limits. The graphics are top-notch, even among 3D Java games, the graphics are still very good looking. This is among the best looking 3D games on Java. But unfortunately, the game doesn't have enough content to keep you hooked. The controls aren't the best, but they work out at least. And the most annoying part about the game is the tutorial. If you get past the tutorial, then you've overcome the worst part of the game. The championship consists on 3 races in 3 locations, Scandinavia, South Africa and South America. And as far as I remember, you get the same car, which you can upgrade with money earned in the races you do in those 3 locations. So yeah, content wise the game isn't all that rich. The game doesn't offer that much, but graphically the game sure is an achievement. Forum 4 Buggy Off-Road Racing is mediocre. You get only 4 cars and 3 tracks, and you can imagine how tournaments are in the game since there are only 3 tracks. Also the tracks are weird, objects pop in an irritating way. The controls are the standard for a game of this type, and overall while the game is playable, I recommend you other games of this sort. The Java platform has way better games than this. 4x4 Off-Road Endurance is mediocre. The game has a championship mode which is really boring, you don't race against opponents, you just have to avoid obstacles and collect repair kits and fuel tanks of the track. The track is won when you reach the finish line. There is the same car in the game, but with different stats, so you don't get multiple cars, you just get the same car with different stats. But at least there are 6 tracks. The controls are good, but avoiding obstacles is finicky most of the time, and isn't fun at all. I find the game mediocre. It's playable, but there are way better off-road games on Java. Jungle Off-Road Battle is this weird game where you are in this tank with big eyes that shoots robot penguins and bananas and all the stuff. The collision is really bad in the game, shooting enemies doesn't always damage them, and this makes the game hard. The controls are stiff and overall from what I have played, I didn't like the game. I admit I didn't get far because the gameplay was broken, but from what I've played, I didn't like it. 
Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.